guess what I found guys look at this beauty right here shining fates ETB my goodness isn't this insane look at look at how pretty this is with the Gigantamax EV oh my god yeah but yeah, you find these stuff when you're least expecting it it is so insane but yeah i'm really excited to open this thing up and you know, as soon as we get home we're gonna start opening this up all right folks we're finally back in our place and there it is there we go we have it shining fates in all its glory <sighs> i'm really excited to open this oh my god i've been waiting for this pack uh for uh such a long time i i almost like gave up hope that i could ever um find this pack and uh, uh i went to barnes and nobles today like i had lunch in a asian buffet place and then um after lunch barnes and nobles was on the way so you know on our way home we're like yeah you know what let's let's just stop at barnes and nobles for a bit you know let's see what we can find or anything in there so i walked into barnes and nobles and i saw these uh they had the battle styles pack uh, the battle styles um with the um, uh they had like three packs of battle styles in it and then one uh, jolteon card and a coin they were selling it for i believe like uh, 15 bucks if i'm not mistaken and then um i was about to get that one i was like looking at it and i was like oh okay this looks cool maybe i'll just get it i mean you know i'm lucky i can even find this and i look in the bottom of the shelf and there's like shining fates i'm like whoa what in the actual fudge like oh my god man like it is so insane uh, I mean, I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, you know, like, you literally can't practically find this stuff anywhere. And then plus, uh, you go to trading card stores and whatnot. They'll, they're they selling you one for like 170, 180 bucks. It's like outrageous. So when you find something like this at a retail price, which is, I think, I believe I paid $49.99 for this plus the tax. So, you know, it's really nice when you can find stuff like this in retail price, you know? So, yeah, dude, I was so excited about it. So, let's go ahead and see what's inside of it. You know, so it's like a amazing, like look at that Eevee, Gigantamax Eevee at its own scroll with the fluffy fur and everything. So yeah, let's put that down in here. And what what is this? Okay, so this seems like a catalog, I think. Yep, there it is. Look at all the shiny Pokemon from the shiny vault. There you go. Oh my God, it's a lot of shinies, a lot of options that you can get here. My lot. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I really want to get this one. But man, the options are crazy. Look at the amount of shiny Pokemon that you can get. This is just insane. I honestly like the Shining Fates, the entire Shining Fates, just for the fact that there's a lot of shiny Pokemon because, you know, I used to be a heavy Pokemon Go player and then shiny pokemon are always best to come by you know i mean i'm not much of a pokemon tcg player i just recently got back into the hobby just because of the hype <laughs> to be honest and i don't play i just collect the cards for you know oh shiny group yeah i got that one and you know i got into it just because of the hype and then now you know i love i, I love the. i usually collect like i said in my previous videos I collect the cards with you know the artwork that I like and yeah let's see what we can pull in this ones oh what is this Gigantamax Lapras or something but yeah the artwork in this set is phenomenal you know like I feel like every artwork like you know it's good like look at this guy it's so funny from the short and shield the ball guy who gives you like different kind of balls and everything <laughs> but yeah this is this is amazing every artwork in this set is just you know it's next level it's like you know i wish most of the pokemon tcg you know kept with the same standards for the artwork and look at these oh my god i hadn't even looked at this Oof, look at that look at that oh my god i don't expect we will pull that one but you know if we did that would be awesome but i don't have my hopes up for that so all right, let's see and crack this thing open and let's see what we can pull. It's a beautiful box right here. 
this is my first ETB, by the way, guys. This is my first ETB that I'm ever opening. You know, on camera and on, you know, real life. Like, actually, as well. So, I've never opened an ETB before. I thought spending 50 bucks on a Pokemon card was outrageous before. But now that I'm a collector, look at me. <laughs> but I don't know what this is. Probably just card game rules. Okay. All right. I won't be needing that. And, um... No clue what that is, but there, there it goes. And some ice box, you know, dice. There you go. Okay. And okay. Oh, there's a card in here. How do I get this out? Is there a way? Oh, my bad, my bad. This thing comes out. I was like, how do I get this thing out? <laughs> But yeah, what, what's this? Are these... What are these supposed to be? No clue. Alright, they just look like a piece of cardboard. So yeah, if you know what it is, just let me know in the comments below. I'm a noob in terms of these. But yeah, ooh. I think these are the energy cards. And look at this. Wow. And oh, I know. If y'all need any code cards or something for your online TCG, there you go. And look, it's a pretty card. Gigantamax Eevee on all its glory. But yeah, let's leave that in the pack for now. And let's put these on the side. And uh, I think these are the sleeves. Yep, these are the sleeves. I'm probably be needing these because I like sleeving the cards that I like and these are all the booster packs you know so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten of them this is amazing I don't know what the name of this Pokemon is I forgot I can't seem to keep track of all these newer generation Pokemon I don't know why but um let's see okay let's open our first pack and see what we can get in there you know so but yeah i i am really really lucky you know like so to be to find these in the store so yeah i, I recommend you guys to check your you know store like oh my god why is it so hard to open are you serious oh. <laughs> i know some of the guys probably like wondering oh my god is that a fake card but yeah because you know Shouldn't be this hard to open or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, let's see. Here's the code card. And one, two, three, four. Let's do the card trick. Okay. There we go. One. Black Age, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Aggressive Flower. And I'm sorry if I am butcher some of these names, okay? Because some of the new generation pokemon names I, I really don't know how to pronounce them i'm really sorry about that but yeah let's keep on going q fan puzzle spinnerack shinx grookey reverse hollow okay and cramoran vmax Ooh, not bad that's that's a good start there we go there we go cramoran vmax yeah i don't know how you guys feel about it but you know i like this pokemon like i like cramoran i actually I don't know why, I think it's just a, you know, goofy Pokemon, and you know, I love it, I really like how it looks, it's kind of funny, I have a card um, from a set that I don't remember, but it's like, a, I think Barracuda, or Aracuda, I don't know what the name of that fish Pokemon is, but I'll try to put the um, picture up here in the screen right now, but it's a really funny card, it's like, you know, the Barracuda, or I can't remember the name, but it's the Pokemon is like swimming in the ocean, and then you know, right in the set, uh, like the another number of card is like Cramorant, and he's like diving in, and he just like eats him up. Like it, it is so sad to see, you know. So <laughs> I kind of like Cramorant, but yeah, let's go with Dragapult. Is that Dragapult? I think so. I think that's his name. Oh my god, these cards are hard to open. But yeah, okay. All right, and here's the code card. All right, let's do the card trick. Uh, but yeah, guys, yeah, check your uh, Barnes and Noble and then 
see what they got over there i'm pretty sure you know and i heard that even though oh i really like this card more peco i love this i love the artwork on this card it is amazing and who's the artist uh hideki shikawa yeah i usually like to collect pokemon cards based on you know artists too like i really love some of the artist artwork and i just collect them just because of that in fact the whole reason i got into the hobby back again was just because to collect the artwork of the uh, artists that i really like but yeah as i was saying uh yeah y'all can go back and check in stores like you know barnes and nobles and stuff Ooh, shiny draclock draclock is that how you say it got a shiny right here oh my god this is so pretty but yeah y'all can check um your barnes and nobles or any other stores and they might have it now you know and i heard even the prices are falling down now so boss's orders uh and i heard the prices of these cards are falling now too like the sets and everything like the demand is going lower now again you know so at one point it was like hyped up and everything but now everything is going back down again so it might be easier to get a hold of everything so now let's leave it and put it on the side and let's see what we can do with our charizard let's see if our charizard can bring us any luck and yep yeah. all right oh my god Shoodle. but yep yeah, did y'all I just recently finished uh, Sword and Shield, guys. Pokemon Sword and Shield. I just recently uh, finished uh, playing the game. I hadn't uh, played it because I did not have a Nintendo Switch. But, you know, I got a Nintendo Switch not too long ago. And I finished everything. I really like the story. You know, it's a cool story. But do you guys wish that Pokemon ever made uh, you know, something more, you know, uh, geared towards, like, their adult fan base? You know, I think it would be really nice if they did something like that, you know. If they made uh, something more, you know, um, uh, geared towards uh, the fan base that already exists who are in their, like, 20s or 30s right now, you know. So, I really wish they did something like that. Not everything, like, you know, child, like, suitable for children, you know, ages 6 and up and everything, you know. So, I really wish they did something like that. And uh, hopefully, you know, they will do something like that in the future. So, fingers crossed, you know. But how do you guys feel about this uh, new game that's coming out, Pokemon RCS? I feel like um, it's a good game. I would definitely pay, play that. It's like a prequel of the whole thing, I think, right? Is that, if I'm not mistaken, it's a prequel. It takes hundreds of years before ash and his um, friends oh that's a beautiful card devil hollow it's pretty cool i like it but yeah oh hideki ishikawa see i just i literally was just talking about this guy's artwork and i can just instantly recognize when like artwork is something like it's distinct i can recognize a good artwork so yeah hideki ishikawa it's a guy maybe i guess i'll have to look out for if i'm collecting the cards but um yeah um yeah i'm really looking forward to that game it's i think it's supposed to take place um i think hundreds of years before ash and his story or whatever i'm um honestly not sure to be honest um but the actual story i do not actually follow pokemon story that much i'm not familiar with a lot of stuff but um i'm definitely planning on getting that game you know and understanding everything how it goes what happens rcs and his legend you know so shining snom wow look at that but honestly um uh, there's not much difference between the shiny and the non-shiny card i think right the colors are almost um the same if i'm oh no 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 never mind so he's a little bit um yellowish while on the other hand the actual snom is a little bit you know more wider in color more pale snow white and yeah kind of don't like these sleeves though they, i feel like they dull the color of the actual card 
you know that they're like matte so i think they dull the color but um good pull good pull so far we're doing good in every pack i think have we pulled a good card in every rare card in like you know ultra rare and everywhere in every pack i think so right i think so so let's go on with this pack again let's get started with this and okay and here's the code card again and then let's do the card trick two three four but yeah how long have y'all been collecting pokemon if any of you collect pokemon let me know in the comments below and how big of a collection you have why did you get into the hobby is it because of the game or the series or somebody else you saw him do it you know celebi nice so let me know how do you all feel about it and oh this is looking to be like a long video 15 minutes already in okay but yeah i don't know i mean i know y'all have seen my drawing videos but i don't know if you guys like these kind of videos i usually like to make videos about the stuff that i like and i'm passionate about such as this you know so if you don't want to see something like this or if you like to see something like this let me know in the comments below and you know uh tell me how do you feel about the video what can i do oh wow lapras shiny lapras v that is so beautiful look at that card it's gorgeous it's amazing oh my god i was literally just about to buy a lapras card just to put it in my collection because i don't have any lapras card yet and wow this is great this is amazing i was about to pay like outrageous amount for i don't know i think it was like lapras from back in the day it's so old lapras i don't remember what year but wow this is amazing this is this is this is really really great oh there's an ant over right here hello ant okay <laughs> i don't know how it got over there but yeah i'm not scared by ants the only thing i'm scared of is spiders but yeah oh that's a beautiful card really really beautiful really really pretty and okay let's uh keep going so far like i said um, every card has some every pack has something man these uh booster packs are totally totally um worth it there were actually um two booster packs when i went to barnes and nobles and i was about to buy both of them and uh, later on i was like oh, you know what let me not do that you know i feel like one is more than enough you know i like pokemon but you know let me save some money i just got my stimulus check okay <laughs> let me not try to spend it all so wait is it, is it the same as the other one? Oh no never mind i thought it was the same i was like wait what the hell okay let's see if we can pull something cooler volcanion okay cool something i don't have still i'll take it as long as i get a pokemon that i do not already have in my collection i am fine with it and i'm totally fine with it it doesn't bother me at all i don't care about the expensive cards you know i like i said i got into the hobby just because you know i really like um the artwork of some artists and i just wanted to collect these guys' artwork three four okay like i really like this guy you know akira komoyama he's my favorite but i think that hideki guy i, I don't know what exactly was his name but yeah i think he um he is gonna take the spot because i really like it oh i see something in the back i see what it is cacnea q fan eevee crowbat v not bad not bad not bad at all i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it uh, okay am i doing it upside down okay <laughs> bad we yeah so far the pull rate is amazing like every i feel like every um booster pack has something really really uh nice you know interesting in there you know it's like but yeah so okay our charizard last pack of the day okay let's see if we got some lost pack magic or something in here are we gonna get a lost pack magic i don't know let's see Two, three, four. Let's see if we can pull any lost pack magic in here. Steel energy. 
Blue Tom, Cramorant, Team Yell, Shinx, Cover, Horsey, Grookey, Morpeko, Ball Guy, and Zarud. Okay. Nothing interesting, but um, that's fine. I'll take it. I, I'm, I'm really happy with the pulls of the day. You know, Crobat B, we got the Lapper Shiny, It's a, which is a really good card. And I, I, I'm really happy about it. Snom Shiny, uh, Draglock Shiny, Cramoran VMAX, and EV VMAX. I, that's more than I could ask for, you know. So it's amazing. But yeah, let me know how you guys uh, felt about the video. Or, you know, if I should do some videos like this again. Or if you like enjoying watching something like this. And, you know... Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite Pokemon. And, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.